Um, yeah, so as you previously know, one of my trial flights did in the helicopter today. I've come, well, me and, me and my lad Jack have come to uh, go on a 737 simulator we got through a group on, and it's placed in Northampton. It's called a Virtual Aerospace in Northampton. You can go to the website, uh, virtualaerospace.com, and you can book a, a place there on it. And it's like I say, it's a 737 simulator. So. It's good, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm used to using flight sim, so we'll see how good my skills are compared with flight simulator. You are on the runway at East Newlands, runway 09. Uh, oh, well, the opposite way around, yeah, it's 270 around, isn't it? Yeah, 270 or a simple pull the other way. So, what we need to do is just make sure that you can reach the pedals really, first of all. So, I'm just yeah. going to have to jump around there and uh, adjust the seat yeah. for you. Right there, so if you just lean forward a little bit, you'll see the seat pull forward. Okay, can you see over the dash? Okay. Yeah. So, it's a the panel and uh, you've got your armrest just there. Okay, we like to live in comfort. You've got the primary flight display in front of you. Uh, the black wings obviously depict the aeroplane, which you'll have seen on the flight sim before. Uh, when we take off on the runway, I'll uh, be watching the airspeed, so basically doing what the pilot monitoring duties would be if we were doing a real line flight. So when it's time to rotate, all you need to do is just pull back on the control column. Yeah. The aircraft will pitch up above the horizon. And then if you look on the primary flight display, uh, we just need to put the wings 15 degrees above the horizon. So yeah. if you can remember 15 degrees, and that'll get us climbing out nicely, okay? So I'll be worrying about the flap and the power settings once we're climbing out. So if you can just maintain us 15 degrees, that'd be brilliant. Perfect. Okay, now to steer on the runway, you've got the rudder pedals down there. Yeah. So you can keep your toes just on the bottom part of the rudder pedals, heels on the floor, away yeah. from, so your toes are away from the brakes. And for the takeoff itself, just look ahead and pick an aiming point at the end of the runway to help keep the aircraft on the centre line. Okay, and what I shall do is set the takeoff power for you, so the aircraft will start to accelerate. I'll call out 80 knots, V1, rotate, and that's it. That's when it's time for you to uh, to do the magic. Okay. Okay. So uh, best thing to do is uh, give it a go. Okay. So got your aiming point now, I'm just going to bring the power up for you now. That's looking good. Okay. And take off the power. And set.
supposed to get the aircraft back down yeah. with the horizontal pink line. Otherwise, we'll carry on climbing up and we'll uh, just make it descending and getting lined up with the approach line. A little bit trickier. Yeah.
Okay, it's because the controls change, you know, the slower the speed, the more mushy they get, that's the uh, difference in there. Okay, Warlock's arm now, she's going to go into approach mode, so the uh, flight director bar should now start turning you in on the final approach. I'm just going to put the gear down to silence that noise and uh, go for flat 15. And you can see the runway out there. Too bad, too wide. That's a little bit high. Yeah. sensitive and this is a lot more give and you, you don't want to push it and think oh no nothing's happening yet and then you can feel the that first sort of 15 10 15 minutes really you're just getting to grips yeah, with the thing yeah. and it's uh, yeah it's a tall order to then suddenly be faced with the landing <laughs> when you've only just sort of had a couple of you know a few minutes to get your head around it so but that's uh, yeah all things considered not not a bad landing at all there from that <laughs> one so uh, if you like we'll reposition it yeah great for yeah. a similar thing so now we're gonna do Lanzarote one of my favourite approaches, but it's up in the ante because it is very windy there. So we'll see how we'll do that. So what we we'll need to do is just have a look at the flight management computer and uh, get the information in that we need. So it tells us we're at Lanzarote. And uh, what we need to do now is just put the uh, airport code in as the uh, Origin GCRR and select the runway 03 and we're going to come back here so we'll just go straight into the destination runway 03 activate execute 
So before its initialisation, this is where we basically put the weights and a few other things in about the aeroplane. So we'll just uh, pluck a few figures out of thin air just so as it can come yeah. give us up some speeds to take off. Got a cost index 500 in. We can select a derated thrust takeoff. Flaps 5. It's calculated the uh, trim for us. So. Uh, See your trim tab there on the control column where your left thumb is there. All right there. Uh, so if you want to adjust the trim, say that we've right, got okay. uh, 5.3 for takeoff. All right. Where do I see the reader? Is it? It's just there. All right. Okay. It's trim there. That's, That's it. Cool. Brilliant. Bang on. Okay. So we're not going to over rotate or anything nasty on takeoff. <laughs> and it's programmed in V1 134 knots, V2 135. Uh, sorry, V-Rotate 135, V-2 139. So if you have a look on the airspeed indicator there on the PFD, you'll see that it's bug VR 135. Yeah. So uh, I'll obviously uh, be watching the airspeed on takeoff again, and I'll call out uh, V-Rotate, and uh, same again. Just pull back on the control column, okay. 15 degrees above the horizon, and we'll get going. Right, yeah. I'm just going to lower the flaps to 5, select the auto brake to a RTO, and if you've got your aiming point there, if you like this time you can advance the throttles and uh, we'll get going.
Like you want. Just need to pitch up. Like you want. silence at some of the points which is often a good sign. <laughs> yeah that's it, I'm sat here rabbiting away it's usually because you're not doing something you yeah, that's that's so yeah if it's quiet all's good with the ship. <laughs> Excellent. 